We're here at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show, which used to be called the Tokyo Motor Show. Now it's a lot more condensed and smaller than the Tokyo Motor Show used to be, but there's no shortage of stunning concepts and star cars. So I'm gonna take you on a whistle stop tour and show you the five or six concepts that have really caught my attention. And the first one I wanna show you will blow your socks off. Now this for me is the undeniable star of the show. Nissan calls it the Hyper Force, but the rest of the world calls it the GTR concept, and it could be on sale as soon as 2028. Now, before we get into the specifics of what we know about this car, Nissan is really playing a weird game here by not just coming out and calling it GTR. But if you look at those taillights, and if you look at the shape of the badge on the front, it's hard to call it anything else. What's underneath? This is a solid state battery supercar. It has 1,000 kilowatts through all wheel drive. Even better than that, when you're not tearing up the racetracks, you can be practicing for your next track session because the whole interior doubles as a simulation racing rig. Now, obviously it's been developed in partnership with Digital Polyphony, so I'm guessing the software is Gran Turismo. Whatever it is, it's guaranteed to be a scorcher. Check it out, Honda is getting in on the Sports Coupe Act, which is a real theme emerging in this year's Japan Mobility Show. Now we're told that this car is called the Honda Prelude and it could be in production as soon as 2028. What we don't know is how powerful it will be, how big the battery pack is, or whether they'll drive the rear wheels like you'd expect of a sports car, or the front wheels, which is what the old Honda Prelude did. And remember that car was last sold in Australia in 2001. My money's on rear wheel drive because it's electric and it's just too easy. Why would you bother with front drive? All right, follow me, we're gonna head to Mazda. Now what you're looking at there is the backside, that's right, the backside of the new Mazda Iconic SP concept. It is the latest in a very long line of could be RX-7 successes. Now Mazda has said that this concept car could go into production. It has the ability to burn hydrogen as well as petrol, but at the moment it's a twin rotor that supplies energy to electric motors, possibly powering the rear wheels. Mazda hasn't said whether it's rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Have a look at the story on our website and tell me if you don't think this car looks a little bit Alfa Romeo. All right, next. Now, if the normal Mazda MX-5 isn't compact enough and agile enough and lightweight enough for you, how's this one? It's a two-thirds replica scale, but it doesn't have an engine in it, and even though it kind of looks like it, it's not an electric version of the MX-5. What it is, is the ultimate kid's toy. They can sit in it, they can start it, and when they push the accelerator, fans at the front, in the front of the car, blow wind in their face so they can get that whole convertible wind in their hair feeling. All right, last stop on the tour is Toyota, where I've got three cars I want you to see. Here we are, Toyota's first electric ute. But guess what? It's not a Toyota Hilux. It's actually slightly smaller, um, and it's more focused on families rather than workers. It may come to Australia. Australia certainly wants it, but decisions haven't been made yet. What's more likely is this one. Toyota Land Cruiser, next generation Land Cruiser, and like everything else I've showed you today, fully electric. Again, Toyota Australia has its hand up around about that high and really wants it to come down under. If so, we could see it as early as 2028, more likely pushing out towards 2030. One thing is certain, electrification is coming, it's coming to Australia, and it's coming in all categories. All right, one last car, and then we're done. All right, here we are, the last car, and again, as I told you, it's a sports coupe. Now, you remember the Toyota MR2 from the 1990s? Imagine if that car had actually stayed in production until today and had to become an electric vehicle. This is the Toyota FTSE. Now, no word on whether this will go into production, but Toyota has promised that an electric production sports car will arrive in 2026, and my money is on this one. Will it come to Australia? My fingers are all crossed. All right, well, there you go. That was our quick tour of the 2023 Japan Mobility Show. If you've liked this, hit us a like. If you want to make some comments, jump into the comments below. Tell us what you thought of the cars. Tell us what you think of the future direction. And how cool is it that we're seeing performance cars, performance EVs for fast car fans? Now, if you want to get any more information on anything I've shown you here, 
We've got all the details and more on the drive.com.au website. All right, that's it from me. I'm out of here.